Hey guys, I'd like to show you a new sponge from Essence. It's called Makeup and Baking Sponge. I think it only comes in this shade and it costs around three and a half euros, which I think is very affordable. First, let's look at the packaging because it's so adorable with those eyes, isn't it? And I also like the shape of it. Let me just take it out to show you. So it has this rounded booty, which I really like for applying my foundation. It's my favorite way. And it has a nice pointed tip for applying concealer and hair around the nose. And the specialty of this sponge is this flat part over here. That's why it's called baking sponge, because this part is meant for baking. For example, here, when you want to sharpen your contour, you can use this part and really make a nice sharp line. Let's compare the size of this one to the size of the Beauty Blender and the Real Technique sponge. Here is the photo of all of them dry and as you can see the Essence sponge is a bit larger than the other two. And here they are wet, they all became a bit larger than before and the Essence one is still the biggest of the three. Here is the sponge wet. I was hoping it's gonna be softer and squishier because I prefer sponges like that. For example, in comparison with the Beauty Blender or with the Real Techniques sponge, this one is way denser. But let's see this puppy in action. I'm gonna use my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 4. I usually use one pump of it. Oh, this feels quite nice. As I said, it's not as soft as the Beauty Blender, but it works nicely. It's also bigger, so I think it blends faster, but I don't like it here around my nose because it's too big to really get in there. Yeah, it's definitely more bouncy than the Beauty Blender or the Real Technique sponge. So that's my foundation on and I think this one applied it very nicely. I do prefer softer sponges, but this one was quite okay. Let's move on to concealer. I'm using Essence Camouflage Full Coverage Concealer in the shade 10 Nude. Yeah, this tip is very nice. I can really nicely get in there around my nose and under my eyes as well. I think it did a really good job of applying concealer. And since it's a baking sponge, let's try baking. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm gonna use the flat side of the sponge. Ooh, that's very nice. I really like it because it's flat. I can really get in there and really nicely press the powder under my eyes. I really love this sponge for applying powder. And now let's try to create this sharp line over here like I would try to emphasize my contour. Yeah, it's not as sharp as I would want it to be because even though this part is flat, you still get powder over here on the non-flat part. I hope you can see it. And well, that's why the line is not exactly as sharp, but I think it's fine anyway. Yeah, I think it did a really great job. Now I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll be right back. So I didn't like this sponge that much for foundation because I prefer softer sponges and this one was just a bit too bouncy and maybe just a bit too large, but I loved it for concealer and even more for baking. I think it's excellent for that. I definitely wouldn't call it a beauty blender dupe, but if you don't mind that it's more on the firm side, I think it's a nice drugstore option. But if you want your sponges to be a bit softer, then I would go for the Real Techniques one. Have you tried this sponge yet? If you have, please let me know down in the comments what you think of it and tell me which sponge you reach for the most. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing so we can see each other next time. Bye! Yeah, that's Charlie. Kiki! Meow? Meow. I can't film like this. 
I have a new accessory, guys.